What it do, folks? It's your boy Major Vernon, aka Mr. Money Man, aka I do real estate, aka I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, nothing major going on, you know. It's just a, a nice, sunny, beautiful looking Thursday here, Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, I don't know. I guess it is, is it is it Throwback Tuesday, Throwback Thursday, or whatever. But uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna relate to, right? Right, quick. Uh, just dropping the kiddos off, you know. Definitely love, you know, taking my kids to school every morning. Uh, you know, trying to get them, you know, revived and refreshed and, you know, motivated for the morning, you know, whether it's just through, you know, small talk, motivational uh, talk, or, or just, uh, you know, listening to something that's, that's a little bit inspiring, a little bit motivating. But, uh, you know, you might see me from time to time, uh, you know, with my children, you know, in the background or whatever, you know, and that's just something I love doing every day, you know, uh, especially, you know, uh, seeing how my schedule fluctuates, you know, from location to location. But, uh, throwback Thursday, and I guess that's what it is. Like I said, I'm, you know, I don't really get caught up in all that, you know, throwback Thursday, who, Hooting Holla, whatever, wilding out Wednesdays, or, you know, whatever it may be. But uh, I guess that's what it is, and, you know, so just gonna, you know, reference that, you know, throwback Thursday. But to me, the throwback, uh, to me, how I'm relating this is reflecting back on the decision I made 2008. I think one of my childhood friends was just uh fortunately lost his life and it was a transitioning stage for me uh even outside of that you know uh it was a transitioning phase and it was when i i made the decision to change my life and that's the biggest throwback anyone should be comfortable even discussing is 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 the throwback of making that decision and moving forward you know and through this transitional phase of my life you know i i was i had to discipline myself to do everything possible to make a change in my life and uh one of the things um Right around the time I, I had already been researching and, and studying for real estate, uh, trying to get familiar with real estate, coming from a, coming from just being a, a someone who who's been to prison, uh, multiple uh, felonies, multiple uh, cases, you know, drug cases, gun charge, uh, and I don't I don't share that a lot as far as you know my my background of if. if uh, and what I've been through, but that, you know, that's, that's the reality of what, where I came from, you know, and I, I'm definitely going to go a, bit, a little bit more in depth as far as, you know, uh, you know, sharing, you know, my true story with, with, with those who, you know, uh, it might help, but, you know, that was my situation, you know, I had to, you know, coming from, uh, someone with knew nothing about, uh, the field I was going into, uh, one thing, only thing I had was a passion and, and, and why, and, you know, and my why, my why was very strong. And, uh, it was, it was something totally different. And, and it, it was that time in which I just realized I had to cut everything out of my life that I knew would hold me back from making this transition you know uh and during that phase i mean i i cut out everything i mean i the the smoking you know was a big you know smoking weed and you know doing these types of things you know cut it out you know no drugs uh you know drinking partying clubbing every week you know every week you know drinking multiple times a week or whatever killed it uh and even the social life that I had, you know, whether it was friends, 
families, everybody I grew up with. Uh, it was just a decision where I knew in order for me to make that change, I had to cut it out. And it, is it what? And it wasn't some personally targeting them, but it was for me myself. So um, you know, and, and that was probably the most challenging part. You know, walking away from the atmosphere that I've been so accustomed to, and. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, man, we don't make it out of that that circle, that that you know, that atmosphere that we we you know bound by and grew up in, and a lot of people not strong enough to pull themselves up out of that, man. So, you know, if anything, I give my own self a pat on the back for just being able to walk away from the only thing that I knew since the time I was in high school, and uh, you know, so. That's just a little bit of a throwback Thursday that I want to share, you know. But the moral of it is, you know, it's only a throwback if it's something, you know. To me, it's a it's a throwback when it's something I can look back on and be like, damn, I pulled myself out of this and this was a major milestone, you know. And I get it, you know, keeping up with everything else and, and you know, the trend and, you know, thing or whatever which is old but you know just still saying uh but to me that's my throwback moment throwback thursday you know is the transition i made 2008 when i walked away from everything that i felt like was holding me back from progressing in life and uh being able to to change the 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 uh the atmosphere around me, you know, at the time and to just be a hundred percent dedicated to change, you know, and it's something that truly has changed my life, you know, not that I'm in a position where I want to be, no, I'm steady, steady going, steady growing and uh, it's an everlasting journey, you know, I've, I've not even been been close to where I would, I would want to be, I would like to be. But I just know that was the throwback decision that I made in my life that ultimately is setting up the future I will have moving forward. So, you know, you might catch me another, you know, five years from now and I'll be saying it was a a business decision that I made that was the best throwback decision at that moment. But, uh, you know, that's 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 a throwback moment that that I would like to share. And, you know, for those. who can get any type of, uh, you know, hikma, as we say in Arabic, you know, wisdom or insight from it is it starts with you making a decision and you following it up with everything in your power to commit, to be accountable, hold yourself accountable, uh, be committed and know that without you doing it, it won't happen, you know, as far as uh, taking that step to prepare yourself in your next level, your next journey in life. So, uh, it's your boy Maja Vernon, Ja aka Mr. Money Man, aka I do real estate, aka I'm an entrepreneur. Early morning, y'all, you know, just dropping the kiddos off, but, uh, you know, you find any useful information, you know, hit me up, you know, let's chat, let's see what's up. And for anybody looking to get in the real estate field, I'm looking for 10 people. 10 people that I can share whatever it is that I know about real estate you know what the hell do I know I've only done you know 400 you know uh, you know real estate transactions you know collectively we done several thousands what do we know we just know how to do what we do and if you want to be part of what we do you know hit me up hopefully there'll be a link I, I haven't you know got all that together yet you know i'm just doing all this on you know this is this is just a start for me you know whether with the videos or whatever i'm just trying to put out something that i know somebody can find useful so if that's you hit me up if you're in my local area and you see this gravitate to it hit me up let's uh let's come up with a game plan i need 10 people that's looking to change their life by the means of real estate real estate investing wholesaling bird dogging whatever you may you know, find the time to to be dedicated to, I'm looking for you. No bullshitters, you know, I'm just, you know, be quite honest, you know, I have no time to 
to waste, you know, on somebody who's, you know, uh, not committed to themselves, you know. So, like I said, if that's you, hit me up, you know, your boy Ja, Mr. Money Man, K. I do real estate, AKA I'm Entrepreneur. Signing out, y'all, on this Throwback Thursday. Let's get to the money. Be obsessed or be average. Peace.